your new Miss America is Miss Georgia, Betty Cantrell. Miss Georgia, Betty Cantrell rode an opera performance all the way to the Miss America 2016 title in Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall Sunday night. In the Q&A, Cantrell even weighed in on the controversy around NFL's deflate gate scandal concerning New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. If there was any question to be had, I think that he definitely cheated and there, that he should have been suspended for that. That's not fair. Cantrell besting 51 other competitors and ending New York's dominance at the Miss America pageant. The state of New York held the title for three consecutive years, but the pageant wasn't just about Miss Cantrell. It also marked the return of Miss America 1984, Vanessa Williams, who made her first appearance after resigning the crown following a nude photo scandal. Miss Williams was the first African-American Miss America. Pageant executive chairman Sam Haskell delivered an on-air apology to the once tarnished beauty queen on behalf of the pageant. You have lived your life in grace and dignity and never was it more evident than during the events of 1984 when you resigned. Though none of us currently in the organization were involved then, on behalf of today's organization, mm -hmm. I want to apologize. And as if Donald Trump needed any more attention, fourth runner-up Miss Alabama Meg McGuffin was asked to weigh in on the presidential candidate's surge in the polls. I think that the Republican Party should be absolutely terrified of all the attention that he's taking from incredible candidates like Jeff Bush and Chris Christie who could absolutely do the job of President of the United States. And if I were a Republican, I would absolutely be terrified of that. Thank you. So there you have it. A new Miss America, an old Miss America, an apology, and a lot of opinions. That was Miss America 2016.